The Way of the Woods by T. Albert. Many years ago, deep in the North Woods, lived a great bear named Bow Bow. He was the strongest and bravest bear alive and respected by all forest creatures. One day, all the animals gathered together to discuss some changes in the woods. A new animal that walked in two legs and was covered in strange fur was making its home nearby. They needed a leader and couldn't think of no one better than Pow Pow. They all marched to Pow Pow's cave and asked if he would be the king of the forest. Pow Pow was thrilled and even though he did not know what being a king was all about, he gladly accepted. Pow Pow then said, I will need some helpers and I want Crowley Crow and Wild Weasel to be my advisors. Well, Crowley and Willard were honored and both agreed work to work with King Pow Pow. One day, Slither the Snake visited King Pow Pow and told him of a strange animal he saw close by. Pow Pow asked, where did you see this animal? So they replied, it lives with this strange two-legged creature at the edge of, the, of our woods. Pow Pow thought for a moment and said, Willard and Crawley, go to the edge of the woods and see what this animal is. Within moment, moments, the two helpers were on their way. Sometime later, Willard and Crowley returned and excitedly told the King Pow Pow that there was indeed a strange animal at the edge of the woods. It was small, maybe the size of booby beaver, and it had a strange barking voice instead of a yelp or a hole. All three sat for a long time, thinking about this strange newcomer that lived so close to their woods. Finally, King Pow Pow said, we must go and meet this animal. All three got up and left King Pow Pow's cave. In a short while, they were all at the edge of the woods, watching the strange animal. King Pow Pow said, Willard, go to the animal and ask what he is and why there's a rope tied around his neck. Without hesitation, Willard scampered across the field and hid behind some wild wood close to the strange animal. Willard. The strange animal looked around. I'm over here, behind the wood pile, Willard said in a louder voice. The strange animal stretched the rope as far as it could, but he wasn't able to see him. Who was speaking? Please come out so that I can see you. My master isn't around. Willard came out slowly from behind the wood pile and patiently approached the strange animal. What type of an animal are you? asked Willard. I'm a dog and my name is Dillard, he replied. And what are you? he then asked. Me? I am Willard the weasel, representing King Pow Pow, ruler of the forest. Why are you pound the stake in the ground? asked Willard. My master keeps me tied so I cannot go into the woods, said Dillard. No animals should be tied, Willard shouted. I shall bite through the rope and set you, set you free. You can then come into the woods and live with me. In one mighty bite, Willard set Dillard free. Then the two of them ran across the field and into the woods. After Willard introduced Dillard to King Pow Pow and Holy, they all left. When they got to the center of the woods, King Pow Pow introduced Dillard to the other first creatures. Dillard especially liked meeting Wayne Wolf and Carl Coyote, who seemed to be his cousins. As the summer passed, King Pow Pow fattened himself on berries and salmon. Dillard and Willard became good friends. One day, Willard sniffed the air. Oh, what a marvelous smell was being carried in the breeze. Chicken eggs, fresh chicken eggs, Willard thought to himself. I must find them and have a snack. In seconds, he was off running through the woods and following his nose to his favorite treat.
his nose led him to the strange creature's house where he had first met Dillard. He looked around, all was clear. He followed the wonderful smell of eggs into a strange cave. He looked around and couldn't believe his eyes. There were chicken eggs, hundreds of chicken eggs all around him. As he reached for an egg, a chicken saw him and sounded the alarm. Soon, all chickens were clucking, squawking, and making a fuss. Then, he heard something behind him. As he turned, he saw the strange creature that lived there, the one that Dillard called Master. There was no escape, and Bullard was terrified. The strange creature looked at Bullard and said, you varmint, you are the weasel that set Dillard free. Why I ought to, but before he could finish, Willard yelled out, wait, don't do anything to me. I can return Dillard to you. Just let me pass and Dillard will be back in a very short time. The strange creature stepped aside and let Willard see. When Willard returned to the woods, he ran to his friends, Dillard, quick, follow me, I need your help. Well, Dillard didn't hesitate to help his friend, and off they ran with Willard in the lead. As they crossed the field, Dillard stopped. What's wrong? asked Willard. My master lives there, and I'm afraid to go any farther, Dillard replied. Don't worry, said Willard. Your master is not there. Again, Dillard followed Willard right into the cave with all the chickens. In a flash, the master had a rope around Dillard's neck. He then looked at the weasel, tossed him an egg, and said, Thank you for returning my dog. Willard left for the, wood, for the woods without saying a word. Dillard's remain reminded with the farmer, making sure no weasel or any vermont ever bothered his livestock. Oh, okay.